Nigerians have been advised to live selfless and impactful lives. This message was at the heart of the sermon delivered at the funeral of business mogul and philanthropist Bode Akindele in Ibadan. Correspondent Ademola Lawrence was there. It was a solemn atmosphere at the Agbeni Cathedral, Ibadan as the late industrialist began his final journey from the hearse. Family, friends, well-wishers and even business associates from far and near converged to bid him farewell. In a sermon titled Christians, People with a Living Hope, prelates of the Methodist Church of Nigeria described the late Akindele as an accomplished and a detribalized Nigerian whose contribution in national development remains indelible. I want Nigerians to emulate this generous man. Live by example, not with impunity. Whether you're a Christian, animist, Hindu, anything Muslim, all of us will give account before God. Governor of Oyo State described the industrialist as a legend. It is on record that Baba is the largest donor, largest single donor to a US state COVID-19 endowment fund. <clears throat> so Baba Badia Kindele was a legend, a legend they live forever. Shiva Kindele is survived by two wives, 11 children, the three grandchildren and three great grandchildren. I can say that within the years he's provided the salaries of over a thousand people in Nigeria that I never knew about. I'm only finding out now because they are calling me to thank me for what my father had done. My father paved the way. I think one of the things that really got really stuck to me was um, when it was said I don't remember who said it, that if a hundred Nigerians were like my father, then Nigeria would be a much better place. Bodhi Akindele was born on the 3rd of June 1933 and died on the 29th of June 2020 at the age of 87. For many, his remarkable success story reflects his love for hard work and discipline. He was buried at a private funeral ceremony with close relatives in attendance. Ademola, TVC News, Lagos.